okay now we are done with the registration a uh, login and dashboard so now we can go with the uh, forgot password okay so forgot password is quite similar to the registration uh, registration functionality because uh, in this one also we are going to uh, send the email to the uh, user so that he can just uh, go ahead and click on that for uh, resetting his password okay so uh, let's do that so let me first uh, uh, you know uh, run my server uh, let me first uh, get into the virtual environment source env oops activate python manage dot by run server all right uh, so now this is the login and here i want to make a forward password link okay first of all we'll have to go to the urls and make a url for this let me say path uh, forgot password and views forgot password and comma name is is name is equal to forgot password okay and next We'll go ahead and make a view for this. So after this dashboard, let's say diff forward password a request and a return render account slash forward password dot html okay so now you have to uh, create this uh, forgot password so what i'll do i'll just uh, copy this uh, login uh, template and paste it here okay so now uh, let me rename it forgot password okay and uh, uh, first i'll get rid of this conditions and all i don't need this now so end if also i don't need so now if i go to forgot password okay Okay, let me put uh, this one, this forward slash. All right, so that was the problem. And uh, now uh, uh, instead of this sign in, I'll make it a uh, forgot password. Here it is. I remove forgot password. Uh, now see we have this form okay so the form will be post and uh, this will change now so this will be forgot password and the csrf token we need and the input type uh, email and uh, this this email address we need and uh, this uh, uh, password thing we don't need okay so i'll i'll remove this div and i don't need this one okay otherwise i can say got password login url space login okay and this is Uh, let me make it a uh, submit okay now if i refresh what i have is a forward password email address 
okay so if i have the password then i can log in otherwise okay so now i think i need to make this uh, uh you know this box a little bit uh, bigger so i'll make it 600 refresh all right <clears throat> okay so now what i want to do is i just want to uh, uh you know i just want the user to put their email address in here and when they submit it so it will first check if the if that account is exist or not with the with that email address okay so if it doesn't exist then uh, of course we are going to throw him an error account does not exist okay if it exists then what we are going to do we are uh, actually uh, going to send him an uh, you know uh, reset password email okay with the reset password email we will be also sending uh, the uh, you know a token okay so it is very similar to the registration one okay so let me first uh, uh, write uh, logic for this one okay uh, let me go to the views and for this uh, forgot password I'll first check if the request is a, a post or not. If request dot method is equal equal to post, and let me take the email address from the request email. Okay, so this email is actually coming from here. All right and then i'll uh, first check if the account exists or not let me say if account dot objects dot get email is equal to email dot exits okay so this exist will uh, return uh, true or false okay if i get the true then i'll just uh, enter inside this if condition so else i'll make a else condition so if uh, it doesn't exist then i'll just say uh, messages dot error request comma account does not exist all right so in the if condition uh what i'll do i'll first get the user okay so a uh, user is equal to account okay so this is count dot objects dot get email is equal to email okay so instead of doing like this uh, what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, say email underscore underscore exact okay so what this exact will do is it will uh, uh, check if the email address he is entering is exactly same as what we are uh, what we have in the uh, database okay so uh, there is another thing i exact also so if we uh, put i exact then it will be case sensitive uh, case insensitive okay so this exact is case sensitive all right so uh, one mistake here we did it is uh, account dot objects dot filter okay not get it should be filter and and uh, once this is done you know then after that it will be uh, uh, you know sending the email email to the uh, user so what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and copy my previous code here, user activation, right? So I'll copy from here, current site, and until this uh, send, I'll copy and come back to here. Okay, paste it here. Okay. So uh, now this will be uh, a reset password email and the current site will be same email subject will be changed okay now this time it is a uh, uh, reset your password reset your password and the message uh, render to string accounts uh, this account verification email dot html so we'll uh, uh, instead of this this one i'll just say uh, I can say reset 
underscore password underscore email dot html okay and user will be user domain is a current site uid uh, this this is also same and the token uh, this is the make token and next uh, to email is equal to email okay so we have this email and this is just a variable send email so if you want to change the name of this variable you can change that then email message we we have mail subject we have a message and we have two email and let's uh, uh, send this email from here all right so now uh, once this email is sent what i'll do i'll just say messages dot success success a request comma password reset email has been and to your email address all right so now i can just uh, go ahead and redirect to return redirect to uh, where i can redirect to the login page okay login all right so let me fix this all these uh, uh, gaps all right so now uh, okay so in the else condition also when we uh, throw the message we have to uh, return redirect it to uh, some page okay so otherwise the it will give you error redirect so if the account does not exist then what i'll do i'll just uh, redirect back to the forgot password right forgot password okay in the forgot password uh, uh, i should uh, actually include the alert messages okay so here okay 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 it is already included all right uh what the next so next thing will be it is uh, uh like i'll have to make uh, uh make this one uh, uh reset password email okay so let me first uh, uh make this one okay i'll copy and i'll just uh, create a new file okay reset password email inside this reset password email uh, the same thing what we have written here okay auto escape off auto escape off so this auto escape off actually uh, protects you from the uh, cross site forgery okay and auto escape off so in this one i'll just uh, write a content uh, let me copy it here okay so let me first copy and paste hi user dot first name then uh, instead of uh, this i'll just say as requested please click below link to reset your password okay so next uh, we need to form this uh, link so this is domain and uh, this instead of this activate we'll make uh, a reset password validate okay reset password underscore validate okay so once uh, this validation is done then we uh, we are going to allow the user to reset his password okay otherwise uh, this link will get expired so then this uh, uidb64 and token okay so if you think it's not you please ignore this thing anyway so this is not a problem all right so now what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, test this okay we already have the smtp setup okay so first okay something is wrong return okay uh, return return login this is wrong where is it return redirect okay and now this should be fine 
okay so now we have the uh, let me f put some uh, dummy email address let's see if this is uh, giving me an error submit okay account does not exist okay so i think uh, which account we have i'll go to incognito Just let me quickly check okay so this account we have i'll okay so this is the one submit reset password validate because uh, we did not create any um url right so that's why it is giving error let me quickly do that what i'll do i'll just uh, copy uh, okay so copy and paste this and this also instead of this activate i'll say reset password validate and we also reset password validate name also re reset password now if i uh, continue um, oh sorry sorry go to views I will make a, a simple function first okay a request just say return and return HTTP response okay now this should be fine All right, password reset email has been sent to your email address. Let me check if I get the email. All right, this is the email. So this link, uh, when we click on this, it will uh, take us to the reset password page. Okay, so before uh, taking us to reset password page, in between what will happen? This uh, validation will happen. Okay, so we'll have to uh, make. Uh, make a decoding of all those all these tokens okay so once that is done if everything is okay and the link is not uh, expired then it will allow us to make a, a password reset all right so uh, for this view and uh, reset password uh, form uh, we'll do in the next one okay thank you